Welcome to the Renaissance Mindset Podcast. The podcast where we delve into the depths of personal development and self-mastery. In this episode, we have the first guest so far. And the guest today is Alexander Williamson. So, Alexander, you are my uh, little brother, isn't that right? Yes. So I thought it was a good idea to have you on the podcast as the first guest because who else? in my opinion. So tell me a uh, short story about your uh, your life so far in your 14 years of living on this earth. Yeah, so I was born in Oslo with you, my big brother. I uh, was born by my parents, uh, called Lina and Roger. Dad and mom, they were great, raised me well. Uh, you know, just Having you as a brother was uh, absolutely amazing. You Great to hear. Taught me so many things about how to act in life, how to be a good person, and just you know, how to play football, how to go to the gym, and, you know, different things. Of, yeah, doing what to do in life. Yeah, I appreciate that, Alexander. So, tell me a little bit more about about the. Uh, the things in later in life that you have gotten from me or that you've seen me do, for example. Yeah. We can we can start to talk about the gym, for example. So we uh, currently we are training together actively mm. almost every day. Yeah. How is that for you? In my opinion, it's great. Mm. So you go you go to the gym, you get in there, you get a pump, you know, you lift the weights get out of there you just feel great um going to the gym for me has been three things has been helping with with the losing weight helping me gaining muscle and then um, also helping me build confidence now um starting first year of uh, junior high school i was i would say a little bit you know i didn't know what to do i didn't know what my future was about to be you know become um was like this it was about this like five four of the months start of uh, high school junior i w- had no purpose i didn't know what to do you know then you, you you came into my room once i think it was and told me how about you jo- join me to the gym you know mm-hmm. how about you just lift some weights and since the day since that day you know Everything has just been much better. Uh, feels much better to be here on this earth, you know? Great. Great to hear. Amazing. So how do you think the uh, the uh, the process with the gym has changed your mentality? So you said that uh, you gained confidence. For example, yeah. you, you have a better uh, confidence. Mm-hmm. Can you further explain that to me? So when I started hitting the gym uh, with you, I learned some things about um, how to act, you know, how to build self-confidence. I will download the TikTok mm-hmm. and I got that, you know, the TikTok the, algorithm, the mindset in TikTok, in Great. Uh, Sigma mindsets, you call it. Yeah, we, we call the, uh, we call it the David Goggins algorithm, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Great. I watched some videos about David Goggins, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, I watched like how to improve yourself on TikTok and it helps a lot, you know. Uh, just just by waking up early and taking that cold shower. Yeah, great. It's just I enjoy that amazing. to myself. Wow. Yeah. Now, cause that, that, you know, just the morning shower, showering helps a lot. You know, you wake up, you get that greasy hair, <laughs> you know, you, uh, you call it for, you call it sleepy hair. Yeah. You? Sleepy hair. <laughs> yeah. And then greasy eyes. Yeah. 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 And when you take the shower, all that is gone. Mm. You look great. Now that just helps a lot, you know? And when I did that and I gained muscle, and I just got, wow, I found I found myself by it. just doing these few things. It helped a lot. So now, um, this week, this month, I've started running. Now running, 
that's the shit. <laughs> it's a different game. It's a different, it's game. A different ball part. Uh, it challenge you. It challenges you in a different way, in my opinion. So, I can, I can, I would love to explain or further elaborate on that because uh, running to me uh, is like medicine. Uh, it helps me a lot to just clear the mind to to gain uh, clarity uh, to clarify my ideas. Uh, and let's say if I had a very stressful week, taking a run. Uh, is a way that I can use to, to just clear my mind, to remove the stress and uh, be left with the ideas, for example. So um, we had a run uh, on Sunday, wasn't it? Saturday. Saturday. We ran 8 kilometers. We ran 8.2 kilometers in around 45 minutes, yes. And for me, that was, that was pretty hard. Um, I haven't run so many times, but you have done, you have done different cardio. Yeah. You have uh, done cardio in football, mm. which is very high intensity. Uh, you get high intensity and then you get short breaks. Yeah. Uh, but the, the running that we did on Saturday was, uh, was quite different. It's uh, steady state, which means you, uh, you run at a solid pace throughout the whole run mm. and uh, it's a learning curve. In the start, I was also uh, very poor in the cardio area, but mm. just doing the cardio mm. week in, week out has improved uh, just my mental abilities, my focus abilities, and uh, running is the shit, like you said. It's the shit, definitely. Um, running, and just by running this month, I've uh, gained a whole lot of more stamina or what you like to call it my uh, just by running it helped me do cardio and i also saw it on my body that i started to lose but i also started to lose a little bit of uh, muscle now running is the shit yeah but you also lose muscle so you have to like control what you do what you train so now i've trained in one year i did not do cardio didn't find that any no no car cardio was not the thing you know mm -hmm. but you, you said alex let's take a run and i was like mm. he said get out get out of this couch let's just go for a run like Gogin said yeah. get off the phone get off the podcast <laughs> back to work yeah <laughs> now i went on this run and flipped the switch I was on this new, new mindset, you know, I'm going for a run tomorrow with my dad. It's going to be great. I think I'm joining that run. Nice. I might have to, uh, to slow down the pace a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, I would love to join that run with you. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing, you know, to run and to lift weights. So my tips for you guys, um, that are watching that are watching this podcast Listening, watching yeah. yeah um try to lift and do activities like running it helps a lot build confidence and you know download tiktok you know mm -hmm. maybe you should just search up men's approval you know i and the TikTok thing is uh, can be can be discussed. It can be tricky. It can be be discussed, but let me let me elaborate on that. Um, if you get into the right uh, algorithm, or if you like and follow the right things, mm. then a algorithm like TikTok can approve, uh, not approve, but uh, give you motivation and um, sort of helpful tips. Uh, but I have this concept, which I like to, uh, to think about when consuming content and that is just consuming with mind. Mm -hmm. And it's a concept which includes, uh, having a control or having a personal control over what you watch. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, that the, what the content you watch have some sort of meaning or some sort of helpful insight. Mm -hmm. And let's say if I go on TikTok mm. and I, the first video I get is a funny video about someone falling or hurting themselves, then that's definitely not consuming with mind. Mm. 
Uh, and in other terms, consuming with mind can be, for example, us right now, we are consuming each other's ideas. We are elaborating on each other's ideas. And that's the definition of consuming with mind. Mm. It's uh, just intellectual information being transferred either from your screen or from person to person. What do you think about this idea, Alexander? No, I think um, we can watch in back in nature. We didn't have cell phones. Now, talk talking we to you know, talking. It's helping me a lot. You know, all this you know days we've been talking together. I learned so much by just talking to you. I and, appreciate that, uh, Alexander. Doing things you learn me like filming camera and you know editing on the. PC, all of that. Great. It's going to be amazing. Just, but just by learning so little things of you has taught me so many things. I appreciate it. So when you just find people, like-minded people, of course, and you just talk, talk together, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not bad to have just a normal conversation. Great. And all of a sudden you might just have a, you know, a podcast, you know, that's exactly. You just flip the switch and you have mm. something like a podcast. And I really want to tell this funny story, which is from uh, when we filmed a video in Olsen. Yeah. And you are probably the most pro uh, precise or pro um, the most precise mm. focus puller that I ever witnessed. And for those who do, does not know what a focus puller are, uh, focus pulling in general, what it means is, uh, just pulling focus on a camera and you have military grade precision. Every clip that I edited through, uh, through was in perfect focus. And personally, I got, I got to say, uh, Dom, uh, personally, I'm not even close as good as you. Thanks, man. I, I'm really impressed with it. Yes. And and that's one skill that you have surpassed me way, way through. Yes. I mean, I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, I'm grateful to hear that. You know, um, filming that camera, it reminded me of one thing, one thing wrong with That was, you know, the PlayStation control. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gave me that vibe, you know, Great. cause, um, through like normal school, um, junior school, I played PlayStation all the time, mm. still playing. You're still playing play def Call of Duty, FIFA, all of that games. You just can't, you can't stop playing when you were so. Here we can bring in the concept with consuming with mind here again. Yeah. So you, you consume a game with your friends mm -hmm. where you have a mission mm. and that mission is to either win or mm. become the best. Yeah. And that's great. Continue. Yeah. When, um, doing this uh, control and watching the screen, you know, killing them people on the Call of Duty, you know, mm. it gave me this focus, you know, mm. focus exactly. I never, never knew I had. Great. This focus is insane. Once you like focus on things, you never stop thinking about it. Now, like when I play the, I played Call of Duty for two hours straight, I get that, you know, focus, which mm. I, is absolutely amazing. We we can call it. Have you ever heard of, heard about flow state? Flow state, no. It's a concept of where you can just work for hours on end without getting tired. Yeah. I watched a video this morning about it. Mm. I will share it to you later. Great. I think you will have great pleasure from it. Yeah. So now, this focus. The reason why I thought gaming was like cool to bring in was because um, when I started to film with the camera. I thought when I learned the controls, I just got his focus, you know, mm. like you, you, you resonated with the, with the PlayStation controller. Yeah. The camera is sort of similar. We have buttons for different features and once you learn it, exactly. Yeah. And then you can do it in your own tempo. Mm. You can become a master of the camera mm. as well as the PlayStation controller, which you already are. Yeah. Uh, now that focus. I also want to bring that to the gym. Mm. When I go into the gym, it's like I have this focus that just flip 
you know, that the switch, you know. I know exactly it's just what you mean. Flip. Mm. When you're going down the dressing room, or what is it called? Yeah. You just and you're in that mindset, you know. Don't talk to me. I'm gonna lift weights. Right. When I'm out, you can talk to me. Just like this focus is important to have, you know. I got I gotta mention one thing. I'm one thing which is very great with training with you yeah. or working out with you is we have this mutual connection. We understand when yeah. when we uh, when we lift, it's lifting time. Yeah. It's not uh, chit chat time. It's not uh, fun playing time. Mm. It's just work time. Yeah. And I find that perfect because mm, when I train with a uh, with a fellow human being, which uh, does not understand this. Mm. It becomes friction or just distraction in my opinion. Yeah, it's nothing, yeah. it's not, yeah, it's, like, it's not, nothing personal with the person, but it just doesn't work out that well. Yeah. But with you, uh, I think we both have this, yeah, have this, this, uh, f- this switch we, we both have in- integrated and I have this one song, which I always put on in the dressing room, mm. uh, which is from, uh, from a very specific movie. I won't mention which movie. It's a secret. I'll make a video about this later. Please. No, it's not. A, you, you don't know the song, but it's one song. And when I play it, I automatically become ready to lift heavy weights or run fast. Yeah, it's definitely that one song. Just... Do you have this one song? I have this one song. Uh, it's from a movie too. Okay. But I'm not sure what, it, what what kind of movie. Oh, nice. It's a it's on um, I found the sound on uh TikTok. Okay. And I just wow, it was great. You know, I just thought of all the things I could have can, I can become, you know. Mm. Just by listening to the song, I don't know what it was, but I just Go- goosebumps. Yeah, goosebumps. I was just thinking about what I can become, you know. Just just by listening to the song and that voice, I don't, I don't, I think it was David Goggins or nice. Joe Rogan or someone. A mix of uh, both of them, maybe. Yeah. And they just said this, um, get back to fucking work or something. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I was just uh, amazed. Please tell me Who's word by word what they see in the song. Uh, get back to work. Get back to fucking work. It's time to get back to work. Get off the podcast. You have the social media. <laughs> Stop. Uh, something like Stop that. using your phone, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. It's. I. I, I believe I've heard the same. The same uh, edits or audio edits. Yeah. It wasn't Joe Rogan. It was a guy Joe Rogan has invited. He it's said interviewed. Yeah, interview. He said he. He was saying, uh, "I was running this mile, um, twenty-four hours mile." And uh, we had teammates <laughs> and, you know, I was, uh, David Goggins was, he had no teammates. No. He was saying that, you know, Great. and I thought, you know, wow, just, the, well, just listening to this edit, just, you know, flipping the switch. It was great to just experience that, you know, you get this good feeling, right? Mm. Perfect. So great story. Our communication is great. If you have a brother or something, uh, you should definitely try that. You should manipulate them. Mm. You should try to do force it. them into getting into a similar hobby or the same hobby as you. Maybe not force them, but convince them. Yeah. And I think um, we have we have just rock skyrocketed our relationship, I yeah. believe, since starting with the gym and. Um, today I, I uh, discussed this uh, concept with um, with myself, which includes a pyramid, mm. which have uh, three letters. Uh, the first letter is physical health, mm. which is the foundation, the 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 lowest point or the base baseline, and then you get the next level, mm. which is uh, in the middle, which will be mental health or and um mental uh, yeah mental health and then you get on top the productivity part so you build your physical health to be able to get to mental health mm. and then you can become productive mm. you can get great ideas mm. you can sell your ideas 
you can build a business. Yeah. What do you think about this concept? I think it's great. I experienced this myself just by talking to you. Uh, I don't remember what day it was, but we just came up with so many ideas. It was just absolutely great. I, I think I remember. Yeah, yeah, it was in... I don't know. A few weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. yeah. We just... Just by, like, you know, talking together, we just made so many ideas that I thought of couldn't make it. You know, that could be a that great be idea. Business. That could be <laughs> successful. That could be money. You know, <laughs> great. all of that. But uh, I think you guys as a listen to this podcast, you should definitely try to find... If you don't have a brother, find a friend, find yes. a good friend and find a like-minded friend that is thinking and doing the same as you and are like a brother to you. Because I agree. when you find this friend or a brother, the relationship you're building is just amazing. You know, nothing can stop this duel, you know? And... and Well, the closer, or for example, if you have a brother, mm. I think that's perfect because this is probably a little bit controversial or maybe not, depends on uh, who you agree with, mm. but you can view uh, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate mm. like a great example of this. Yeah. They are two brothers who have built probably big businesses. They built all together. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they have what seems like a very uh, great relationship. And uh, that too can be, it can be unstoppable. Exactly. Yeah. It can be very powerful if you utilize it the right way. Mm. And I just wanted to show you, Alexander, yeah. the mental pyramid that I'm writing here for you. Okay. Mental health. Cool. And then you have... Pro Productivity on the top. Okay. I think you get get what I mean. You get the you get the points across. I'm going to view it for the camera for those who are viewing the video. Yeah. On, if you're viewing from podcast, you can just message me on Instagram if you want to get this pyramid. Then mm. I'll send it to you personally. Yeah. I think this is a great, great just a foundation foundation for your health. And many uh, psychiatrists and Uh, doctors, scientists, it's all the same. They tell you, you got to start with your body and your brain. It's yeah. simple. The the electrical signal, it's all the electrical signals. If your brain is firing the right signals, yeah. then your body and your health will follow. Yeah. And that's why I think the gym is powerful. Yeah. It teaches you discipline. Yeah. It teaches you that you need to stick to something in order it for to grow or to work mm. and you it, and it also, uh, also teaches you uh, delayed uh, gratification have you heard about this concept uh might have but i can't remember but it sounds very you know like i think i've heard it before i would love to tell you about it yeah so Uh, delayed gratification is when you uh, have a goal mm. um, and you do not see progress for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And you think, oh, this is hard, but I'm still going to stick to it because I know mm. the results will come. Yeah. And this is something which is very powerful. If you learn how to, or if you just understand this concept, then it can be applied in all areas of life. It can be applied to your relationships. Mm. If you have don't have a great relationship today, yeah. it will probably be hard mm. to have a conversation. But if you have this conversation enough times, then it will become easy or you'll reach the goal of having a good relationship or better relationship with that person maybe. And... Is this something that can be applied to your current gym mindset? Have you felt this way before when going to the gym? You just go there because you know you won't see progress today, but you will mm. see progress in the long term. 
I want to say something in there. Please. Um, many people have said this before. I'm going to say this because it may be more ways you guys because I'm a 14 year old and yeah, going to the gym and not seeing progress, what you need and the most important thing you need is discipline. Now back to TikTok, I watched a TikTok video where they talked about discipline. I haven't, I, I have never heard that word before Yeah. until I watched that video. And you know, when I learned this uh, word, um, I also just got the switch discipline. Now, when I didn't see progress, I knew that I had to keep on going, keep on going, wake up early, take the cold shower, shower yourself, go to school, go to the gym, go back and get back home, eat your protein, all of that repeat, you know, by doing this, you get bored, but you know, it's a very, it starts if you, if you're used to just consuming yeah. or just uh, constantly having this dopamine, mm. um, just constantly having a flow of cheap dopamine, mm. then it will be challenging to discover the dope, the real dopamine you get from hard work. Yeah. And I believe this is why uh, we are seeing a change. Yeah. Uh, we can use TikTok, we can use Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Twitter, exactly. I have just gotten on the Twitter wave. Yeah. I recommend it for, to you. Yeah, it's great. Twitter. It's great. Why do you not follow me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm following you. You do? Yeah, of course. Great. You're my brother. Of course. I'll tweet you later. Great. But back to the point is that um, getting dopamine from hard work yeah. is the real dopamine. Is and you can probably relate there because yeah. you you feel different towards different things now when you're used to the gym, when you're used to maybe working up early, maybe mm. sticking it out, just doing the thing you have to do, mm. even if you don't want to do it. Yeah. And getting dopamine from that or yeah. a good feeling from that. It's a good feeling, a great feeling. And when you first see progress, you get this more dopamine. You yeah. Know, just want more and you want more. And exactly. You want more and it can be dangerous though. It can be dangerous. It's important to have your ego in check. Mm, yeah. Uh, so for, for my sake, it's not that um, hard to have discipline because I'm in this circle. Discipline breeds dif discipline. Yeah. Have you heard about that? Yeah. If you if you have discipline, you can always have more discipline, yeah. but it's important to also do not have too much discipline. Mm -hmm. It's all in the moderation, isn't it? Yeah. So I've been training for a year now and I've been seeing a lot of progress. I know what my body is capable of and I just need to keep going and keep going. Um, I saw the weight on the lifting it just grow, you know, my bench press went from 40 kilos to 75 now kilos. And you, you probably bench more than me no. in around a uh, half year, maybe Yeah, and if the, uh, if the curve continues mm. and just by doing these exercises, I saw the weight, it just boosted up, you know. This was because I never gave up. And you also, I got to mention, mm. in the first year of training, mm. you always have this, what you call newbie gains, I believe. Yeah. It's a concept where, um, or it's a, actually it's facts. Uh, when you first start to, to lift weights, yeah. you have this explosion or you can have this explosion. And you just respond muscle. Yeah, exactly. You just respond a lot better to yeah. weightlifting. And over time, this fades out. Mm. Uh, for example, me, I would not be able to put on as much muscle as you. Yeah, because, yeah. I believe that maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, it all depends on the diet and consistency and sleep. But you are in the lucky period. Mm. You have a lot of time to put to the gym. Testosterone. You also have a lot of testosterone. Yeah. And you are on a growth wave mm. and if you ride this wave correctly 
I think that will serve you very well mm. and uh, continue with that. Yeah. Um, I also like to say one more thing uh, about gym. Uh, progress is a good thing to have, you know. If you don't see progress, you might just give up. Right now, I gotta say, I do not have much progress. Yeah. But Does, it doesn't seem like I have much progress, but you always have more progress than you think. Yeah. And if you think about it, it makes perfect sense because every day you look in your in the mirror or maybe uh, not all way all people look into the mirror every day but you get the point yeah. mm, you will never see a change between yesterday and today mm. maybe slight change maybe you are slightly dehydrated and therefore you see a little bit more muscle here and there mm. either way you won't see a uh, change in two days in three days in four days it's difficult even a week mm. But over a period of time, that's when you you get progress and mm. you harvest in the goodness from that. Yeah, because I have a lot of friends um, which go to the gym, but they only go to the gym once a week. And you know, when you go there once a week and you just rest, you can see progress. I, I gotta say, you get some progress though. Yeah, you get when you're in the first year or first two years, yeah. you get progress just by doing push-ups or mm -hmm. just most basic things. But the point you are getting to yeah, is, um, I've been through this. I've been through this newbie starting gym, gym noob, all of that. I know how it's just like to be in the start of the gym. I hated it. You know, when I started the gym, it was like. I didn't see a progress. I thought, how many years is this going to take until like now? I know that I can just by just by like training every day, like six times a week, progress is going to be amazing. Yeah, you you will get progress mm. with your consistency at the moment. Mm. You just stick it out. It will be great. So Alex, you are 14. Yeah. You already have a great mindset. Mm. You already have a great gym routine. Mm. And we have a podcast or I have a podcast and you're now on my podcast episode. Mm. Where is, what is the next step for you? What is the journey you're looking like? Do you have any future plans that you maybe want to share with me today? Yeah. So number one on the list is definitely becoming rich. I think that's just like everyone's dream. Um, you know, um, I'm on second year of junior high school. I have one year left starting after the summer break. And, uh, I have to focus on grades now, uh, going to school. is an important thing. Now I have to get good grades so I can start a good high school, starting a good high school. Um, now, I haven't completely set up a good plan for how to become rich, but I know that you have a great setup right here. This Thank could be a great, this is the start of a great future. Thank I feel it. I appreciate it. And yeah. And now my plan is to starting to be great at school. I think that's a good thing. Good to get a great ed education, good job. And when I started making money, I will definitely start to invest money in the, I don't know what you call it in English, but crypto and all of that, you know. If that's a thing. I believe crypto maybe is a little bit uh, yeah. unsure right now. Yeah. But, but definitely invest your money. Yeah. Future might be like investing in things that are good for uh, climate. Yeah. Maybe. And housing. Yeah. Housing. housing. Uh, is probably the one that I've gotten the best impression of mm. so far. I have very little investing knowledge. Yeah, but I know that you, you, you know that like investing in houses here in Oslo is great because the yeah. prices are like skyrocketing. You know? They are always varying a lot. There's a big difference in the prices mm. you get. Uh, there's been a very tenfold uh, increase mm. in the prices over the last few uh, decades, uh, which is 
very, very impressive or mind blow blowing. And I'm not sure if that trend will continue, uh, but we never know. And housing is always going to be needed and uh, relevant for the society. So if you are going to invest and I'm going to invest, uh, probably housing is the way to go. Housing is a great idea. Or saving up until you can get into house get into housing. Of course. It's it's a big process. I'm it's, I'm not an expert in this area at it's all. Quite, yeah, it's pretty pretty much it's, it's a lot to set into. Yeah. Set into yeah. <laughs> but, but but it's worth getting into. Yeah. We should we should do that. We should have a mm. we should have an on session. Yeah. Now I'm only fourteen years old. Um I don't know much. I know how to lift weights. You have a discipline though. I have a discipline. I know how, sh- I know tough things, you know, I know how to handle, th- handle th- tough thing- things. And, you know, um, this just by getting rich is the number one dream. But I think you should, you should look into, uh, into fulfillment. Yeah. I believe it's a better term. And in my opinion, uh, I would always seek fulfillment over just uh, money or objects, etc. Um, and I found recently when I just do whatever the hell I want to, or if I just do the tasks that I personally want to, that I get fulfilled of doing, I feel a lot different. I feel much better. I feel creative, fulfilled. All of the uh, words under the umbrella. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, but finding that one thing you like, you like to do. And recently, it's been writing actually, yeah, right. putting my thoughts into paper, yeah. and uh, creating mind maps in the notebook, and uh, just exploring this different concept of thought, different concept of. Mm. structuring one's mind mm. has been a thing that I've been getting into lately and the whole podcast we are in right now stems from this just Already, yeah. just writing and mm. filling the mind with ideas emptying the mind with writing them out because mm. writing on paper is on another level than just writing yeah. on PC I, I got it. I, I'll prefer to write on the computer mm. because I can edit. It's a lot I can, faster. yeah, and it's easier. You can make views. You can have cool colors. You can make visual things. And I'm a very visual PA person, but mind maps, which I've made a video about, uh, is great. Yeah. And I like to write everything on the computer. Mm. If I want to visualize the thing uh, further, yeah. I just write it in my map. Yeah. And you went to the same school as me. Yeah. And in that school, they are all about mind maps. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, very yeah. funny. It's we were, every session, every lecture, yeah. mind maps. Yeah. Every we were the only school I think in whole Oslo, uh, the capital state of Norway, that were learning about mind maps. And are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about it. The yeah. teacher always said that. Yeah. You know, it's almost we're the only like, ones. Yeah. We're we're the only ones learning about mind maps. It's so cool, you know. <laughs> we're we're the best, you know. Now mind maps is a good thing. Uh I'm not doing that for a minute, but I might start getting into it. Definitely. I'm, I'm just saying this writing in the note, but you will you'll get one exactly the same as this okay. for your um, upcoming birthday Great. i will just spoil the gift you will get a pen and paper yeah. and, and you'll write mind maps <laughs> you do not have to write mind maps you will get but you get the point yeah. you will uh, it's it's not just about having a pen and paper yeah. It's uh, it's a feeling you get from it. Yeah. I know this sounds stupid, but uh, yeah, um, in our it's day and age, amazing. yeah, yeah. But yeah. in our day and age, it's all digital. It's all video, photo, but just writing things out. Yeah. 
just makes the mind work differently. Back in history, uh, Renaissance, and Renaissance, and Renaissance. Times, Renaissance times, writing was the only thing they had. Yeah, and they were some of the best thinkers, uh, greatest innovators, and uh, just be- best philosophers. Um, yeah, you get a great point there. You need to think about uh, back in history, writing was the only thing they had. That was the only way to save their history. And I, yeah, I believe some of the the friction that you're talking about yeah. uh, from writing on paper uh, can or maybe can uh, actually contribute mm. to the thinking process. It can give you some of the necessary friction to maybe think different. Yeah. Maybe improve the concepts you have. Yeah. Maybe it's not uh, good enough. Mm. M- maybe sometimes it's actually so simple that when you sit down to write an idea, Mm. And you think, well, this is not so good, actually. Mm. Let me further elaborate or let me further try to improve this. Yeah. Rather than just re- writing it down on the computer and you can d- delete it whenever. It's, I, 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 know, I do not know how to really uh, explain this, mm. but it's very interesting, these two. Writing, yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing I've been thinking about is... What if just like all data, all the Wi-Fi, everything just all stop working? Electronic? Yeah. What if it shit just goes down? What if we just have nothing left, you know? Electronics just, it's gone. Like a sun wave or something. Yeah, sunstorm or solar storm, they yeah. call it. So a solar eclipse, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Everything is just gone. Interesting. Then, you know, we see in modern day society, in school, in my school, we use iPads. They didn't use iPads back then. Yeah, when I, when I went to, I got my first computer in seventh grade. Yeah. Well, my idea about this is when our kids get to grow up, they're just going to use iPads, phones, No, no, no. PCs. They are going to use the new Apple headset. Yes. <laughs> they're just going to live in this electronic yeah, world. Exactly. They ain't going to just learn the, learning this reading. Right. And I got to say, you have a great point. And uh, I can see on the writing that I have that my writing is almost unreadable. Yeah, yeah. And that's tragic. And I try to improve it. I will try to improve it. Um, and that, that's a priority of mine, mm. but I think that's one of the things that the next generations may, maybe won't be able to write at all. <laughs> they probably will be able, but I don't think they will be able to really explain their concepts, uh, without electronic, uh, devices. That's just speculation. Now there are two things about this. Uh, I know that writing is old. And that just this like electronic world where you're just jumping into, it's amazing, you know, all the things we just have by just clicking on a phone. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, with with AI, for example, yeah. it's yes. a, it's yeah, not just that, but in with AI in general, <laughs> it's something very new, yeah. exciting. And when, uh, yeah, when, when, uh, when people discover what AI can do for the first time, they get this just excitement, Mm. this rush. Mm. And I can, uh, I can definitely relate to that when I first, uh, when I first signed up for OpenAI Playground, uh, which was uh, the stage before ChatGPT. It's uh, the model uh before chat gpt3 um which was uh, a lot worse it was more of a working progress beta thing uh but still from there i remember just the the rush you get when you can just yeah. input the task yeah. input the the school task and you can get just an instant reply and i think that's uh, in that way, it's sort of dangerous because then you, it's it's, then you just remove all of the the friction, the necessary friction and the necessary uh, hard work you have to uh, do in a, order to accomplish the the task. And when you just remove this whole process and you skip 
the hard pro work pro process yeah. with just a reward you yeah. task and reward then it's uh, it's difficult it's, it's very i think it's it's uh, not only hard but dangerous if it's not used the right way it's very dangerous i experienced it myself i was on school uh half a year ago maybe probably longer eight months ago my friend said hey have you heard about chat gpt i was like no what, what is this he showed me he write make me a text about world war ii and that me just looking at that ball just writing all of these words i came obsessed you know yeah it's all about the feeling you get it's, it's i was using this chat gpt always you know mm -hmm. i became addicted you i don't think you have become addicted because you you managed to get out of it yeah i imagine yeah but because you get my point very is, excited yeah my point is that you you think that you know just by typing this you you don't need to have to learn anything so like you get in this mindset that this is a waste of time because i can just put this into chat gpt you know so that's a dangerous 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 thing um Many of my school always use it. Uh, school subjects get like done. Yeah, I, I have one com interesting comparison. Yeah, you can compare it to uh, the reward dopamine you get from yeah. social media, for example, or from porn. Mm. If you just you remove the friction, mm. which friction and hard work. Uh, is the process friction hard work progress uh, process uh, for uh, excuse me these three words uh, in my opinion really represents some of the same ideas mm. and uh, we can see that social media le leads to uh, leads to not great things and porn definitely uh, is a real pro problem and AI will be a great problem yeah. if uh, we do not utilize them the right way. Mm. Students do not utilize them the right way. Yeah. Um, it will be a problem, definitely. Definitely. Uh, one thing there, uh, let's say our generation, they grew up with, let's say, porn. They get addicted. And someday they find a wife, they make children, and then there are there is children you know how are they gonna react to porn they're also gonna get addicted but their parents might think this is cool you know yeah i don't think that's yeah that's that's maybe a problem but the whole problem is the porn just overall yeah. it's uh, it teaches yeah. the brain to uh to be used to uh, unusual uh things ideas it's just a very toxic thing. Yeah. Uh, porn can also be used in a healthy way. Yeah. It can be used in the right way. If uh, one, I'm not going to go into detail, yeah. but it can be used right. Yeah. And it can definitely in a 110% in the cases be used wrong, yeah. which is tragic. Uh, it should be, I have no words to describe it, but uh, all of this not being regulated yeah. just shows how the what you can call the matrix yeah. uh, really just actually have no control yeah. and or they have all the control and they are not necessarily wanting the best mm. for you yeah. get off get off porn and go to the gym yeah listen to the video again clear your mind <laughs> just <laughs> clear your mind clear the mind Mm. That's a great concept. I should make that uh, the wallpaper in this room. Clear your mind. I should have it written mm. in all bold on the wall. Completely agree. <laughs> now, we talked about a lot of things now. Uh, porn, uh, gym. Mindset. Other... Artificial intelligence. Yeah. Um, I just want to talk about all around friends and people you're with. Please. Uh, now, I'm 14 years old. I mean, my teenage years, I have two options. Do I want to be like the others or do I want to be the way I feel? 
I want to be. Right. So now I've chose this gym mindset, this running mindset. And now I know a lot of teenagers that dedicates their lives partying, doing drugs and all of that shit, you know? Yeah. And I completely agree with you. Um, from early age, I have really never gotten any uh, enjoyment or pleasure from the things you mentioned last year. Um, I believe uh, those who are big uh, social outgoers, uh, those are maybe the people who um, are looking for the most uh, confirmation from others. Yeah. I believe uh, that, or I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Uh, but from my experiences, doing different things can lead to better things. It can be lead to uh, knowing yourself better. It can lead to uh, you exploring your skill set and improving your skill set. And the skill set one person have is, in my opinion, the most important thing you have to offer in this society. Mm. Uh, you cannot be uh, a valuable in society without having great skills, mm. without having a great mindset that will lead to great skills. And I talked about this in my last episode of the, uh, the Renaissance man yeah. and uh, the Renaissance values, which I'll teach you about, yeah. I'll tell you about in great depth is something that I definitely uh, recommend to anybody. It's mm. great to just have this outline uh, of ancient great philosophers way of living. I think this is a no brainer to, uh, to get, get into mind and please continue with, uh, with your great points mm. about the social life of young teenagers. Yeah. Now, of course it's fun to party. I am. Um, it's great. But, um, since me doing this hard work, uh, discipline in the gym and just to come back to school and hearing the people said, Oh, that party was so fun. We did all that shit. I can know? really relate to that. Fuck yeah, that was so cool, you know? I mean, like, come on, bro. Tell me about a new PR. Yeah, give me some, uh, give me some value here, please. Value, some value. <laughs> did you run the weekend? What do you do? I, I, I cannot explain how much I can relate to this yeah, feeling. Um, I, wow. Well, um, just the, uh, sometimes I'm not going to mention any names here, but sometimes people are really into just talking about others, mm. talking about who, when, what, et, et cetera. I am not interested in that. I actually become a little bit irritated. I find myself showing my worst side when, when that shows up. And I just, sometimes I just go with it. I just, uh, talk, join the conversation. Sometimes I'm just silent and I prefer to just be silent. Sometimes I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of friends that are like mine and like me. I have. One of my best buddies, um, I'm not going to say the name, uh, but he's going to the gym with me. We're, we're thinking the same. We're going to the gym together. We're, we're doing process together. You know, like we two, we had a strong relationship and I wanted to, I wanted other people to feel the same. So I started to become friends with, I, I saw these people at school. I saw potential. I saw these people, they are great. You know, they aren't like these guys that are. You can, you can always, you can, uh, um, I, I believe we too have, mm. we have the, uh, we have uh, ability to, to find the right people, I believe. Yeah. And we find each other definitely. Yeah. And you can uh, very quickly in many people just feel or discover the right bandwidth and just, in, uh, just discover that they are uh, on the same yeah. wavelength. Yeah. Now, cause uh, these friends, I, uh, that are like mine and like me, I, now that they're, I'm going to the gym a lot. I see their potential. I just love it. You know, Yeah. I know that 
everyone could get this uh, circle, this switch, you know, everything. If you just have the courage and motivation, just do it, you know. Because the reason why I just uh, said this is because I'm pretty tired of just hearing people partying and all of that. I know it's fun to party, but don't dedicate your life to it. You know? That's right. Don't. Uh, it's a little period of your life, which my period, uh, the, the situation I'm in right now, it's the most important period of my life. I, I, can I f just add the one thing there? You are, in, uh, or I am as well, yeah. in the time. Most important time. Yeah, not just that, but you are in the most neuroplastic area mm. of your life or time of your life, which means everything you do mm. when it comes to uh, your uh, discipline, your mindset, your etc., your what you do, everything you do, the thoughts uh, is going to program your brain yeah. uh, essentially. And uh, what you do now will lay the path, the groundwork to uh, the road that will become the future. Exactly. So yeah, time uh, and overall how you use your time is important. And I definitely think that I'm on the right path. I definitely think that me doing, going to gym, running, uh, trying to learn this, investing in houses and all that just doing great in school i think that's the right path and uh yeah there's one uh, my best advice for people like age like me you're same same age um don't try to be like other people control your own mind control your own ways try to find your own circle and definitely control your thoughts yeah if you can control your brain then what are you? If you can't, you are. You, I want to mention one thing. Actions, yeah. If you don't control your, if you don't have control of your mind, you are a slave to your impulses. Yeah. Have you heard, heard about that? Yeah. I think that's yeah. it's it's a perfect sentence. Now, because if you want to be like other people, great. I understand they're probably cool. Try to be a better version. Try to be cooler. You know. Maybe not cool, but smarter. Smarter. Yeah have have just have more to offer yeah. when you have more to offer people will uh will uh, give you more respect yeah not only that but people will want to connect with you on a higher level mm. they want to get into the things that you have insight into mm. so let's say um that i have or you have mm. uh, you have a great insight into yeah. playstation for example yeah and if I would want to get some insight into PlayStation, I would want to go in or uh, talk to a person who have mm, experience. time experience yeah. with PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. So you could maybe make a guide on how to play Call of Duty. Yeah, you can sell that. Of course. And sell I can online. sell a course on video editing. Yeah. And I just or we just won't have to grow an audience before we can sell it so that we have people who see our uh, experience insight etc then they want to get into our knowledge mm. and purchase our knowledge yeah that's nice. why you do not want to become like everyone else mm. because then you have no value to offer you have no insight and knowledge other people will want to get into and when you hit um, adulthood then people realize that oh he is just cool yeah he has no value mm. okay um what are we even doing here <laughs> now i want to say one last thing before the camera gonna... before the camera shots yeah <laughs> i just want you teenagers to know um i know that the main thing teenager do, does now is to party have fun, do drugs, uh, it's cool, you know, drink alcohol, all that shit. Um, I want you guys to don't try to be like the others. Try and build the best version of yourself. And we need to, yeah, 
when you gain insights uh, and you just gain your whole perspective of how the world works after life your future is gonna just gonna be much easier and one thing yeah and when yeah and not only that but people will just feel they will have a different vibe around you this they yeah and I, I will I will tell you one thing mm. when people go to you mm. Uh, because they know you have insight into something and they ask you help me how do I do this and you have just the answer Mm. that feeling is the best feeling ever so have that feeling as your goal have insight people want and become the best person of yourself that's the episode today yeah uh essentially wrapped so thank you alex this has been a great episode i cannot believe this is the first episode Mm. with a guest and uh, you had so much value and insight to share and we had such a great conversation it's gonna be a cool future you know you never know what happens exactly the only thing that will take us to the future and that will show us what the future will bring is consistency. All right. Yeah. We will leave it on that note. Love it. Thank Thanks. you.